Hi there, it's Paul here, uh, just doing a, another short film. Um, it's going to be the letter A to Z of starting your family tree. And today, um, again, uh, we're going to do letter D. And this is for drawing out your plan. So I'm just going to show you on my uh, stand here how I go about setting out and putting out your names of the people you find and your families. So today I'm going to make some fictitious dates up and names up and if they correspond to anybody who's watching it, I'm very sorry. Um, so, so setting out, um, drawing out your family tree, um, it's quite simple really. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and here we go. So I'm going to do a fictitious couple of fictitious names. So I'm going to go with Tom Smith. Um, sorry if you can't really see this. Um, and then what you want to do is what I do is I either put his birth or baptism date, his death date if you can find it, and then he's married. So. Just going to make up um, uh, uh, a uh, a wife for him. So we're going to put Jane, and we're going to use a maiden name because I usually like doing maiden names. So I'm going to put Taylor, and again I'm going to put birth and death down. I'll run out of space in a minute. I'll have to move the camera. Um, so. So for Tom, um, underneath birthday, I'm going to put the 2nd of the 11th, 1914. Uh, I'm going to put him as married on the 13th of the 10th, 1945. And then you can also put in there where they were, uh, where they were married. So because I live in Sheffield, I'm going to put Sheffield down. And obviously you can build up. So obviously we've got Jane as well. So let's do a fictitious date of birth for her. 1913. And then what I tend to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Let's pull that back a little bit. I'll bring the camera forward. All these high tech things. Okay. So we've got the mum and dad's name. So now... What I tend to do is draw a couple of lines. If you know how many children they have, you can do as many lines as you want. So again, let's have a look. What I'm going to do is put Tom Smith and Jane uh, Smith. And then I'm going to put uh, Anne off of my head Smith and again birth date death marriage birth date date and a marriage birth day date and a marriage I'm not going to fill in the dates there um, but what you do find and the reason I've done uh, Tom is that in the past the father's name is given to the first son or the mother's name is given to the first daughter I found um, don't know why it is, uh, but that's it. I mean, my family, uh, turn the camera in, I mean, my family, Mark's gone through my family, and I've got a son called Mark, and my great, 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 great granddad was Mark. And uh, yeah, there we go. So that's how I've set it out. That's how I set it out and plan. It's neat, tidy. Um, you can also change it, as I say, add to it, and then, um, and that. So hopefully that'll get you started in actually writing out your family tree uh, and hope that was okay. Ciao for now.